The Belgian pilot, promoted by Ghent University, is one of the five demonstration pilots funded by the European Horizon 2020 project UNITED. We strongly believe there is a synergy between the aquaculture of flat oyster and seaweed and the restoration of flat oyster beds in wind parks in the Belgian part of the North Sea. For that reason, innovative aquaculture systems and alternative scour material are tested to capture wild oyster seed and sustain good growth of oyster juveniles. Only the structures that are successful near shore will be tested in our offshore location, namely the wind park of Bellwind. The Belgian pilot is also a very nice example of how synergy can be created between the private sector, research institutes and the government. at each basket and that can be tied with tie wraps to the baskets and afterwards we will disconnect them from the frames to clean them. Arbind, the Royal Belgian Institute of Natural Sciences, is involved in the UNITED project because of its interest uh, to restore flat oyster reefs in the Belgian part of the North Sea. Here we investigate the attractability of different substrates for the settlement of flat oyster spat. And next to that, we are also interested in the epifauna growing on these structures, including non-native species that settle. As an innovative marine contractor with respect for the environment, Jan de Nul Group encourages the idea of offshore wind farms supplying green energy while facilitating nature restoration and aquaculture. The opportunity to bring added value to the local ecosystem lies in making the protection layer of stones more attractive for oysters. Jan de Nul designed the structures to test the different stones and will install the offshore longline system. This is a numerical simulation of an oyster longline system. The oysters are grown in dropper sticks which are hanging throughout the main line, namely backbone. If we shift our focus to what is happening underneath the surface, the water particles are moving in a circular motion. These water particles are inducing the load on the system which translates into the motions of the oyster longline. This simulation provides us with the predicted forces on the system which will help us in designing an optimized configuration for the Oyster Longline. In Europe, uh, demand in seaweed is increasing for food and non-food applications, which leads to increased pressure on wild stocks. Cultivation of seaweeds could lower this pressure of species of interest, while also increase production. Moving the cultivation offshore could even further increase the production that's possible. However, some hurdles need to be overcome. Here at the marine station in Ostende, um, we investigate the feasibility of growing the brown algae Saccharina latissima under offshore conditions. We test the possibility of using different strains, the seeding method, as well as the importance of a hatchery period before the seeded nets will be deployed at sea.